Good morning, beautiful family. Hope you're having a great morning so far. Happy Friday. I hope that you slept well. Um, this morning, we are going over chapter three in the book of Psalms. And before I hit record, I was actually um, briefly going over it. And this chapter is quite short. It's actually only eight verses long, but it really packs a punch. Um, there's a lot in this very short chapter that I think holds a lot of substance. So let's get started. It says in verse one, Lord, how they have increased who trouble me. Many are they who rise up against me. Many are they who say of me, there is no help for him in God. But you, O Lord, are a shield for me my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people who have set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God. For you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. Um, and that's it for that chapter. And it really, to me, doesn't need a whole lot of commentary. Um, I think it really speaks for itself. But there's a few things in here that... Um, that I think are just powerful. Um, so it breaks it down into, there's four little sections here. Um, first part, obviously it just talks about how, you know, um, the enemy is out for him. And he's like, hey, the people who trouble me, they're increasing in number and they're rising up against me. And, you know, they're saying to me that, you know, I have you, Lord, but you can't help me. That That's what they're saying to me. And then he goes into the next part. Um, but despite that, God shields me, right? And he is the one who, when I am down and when the enemy against me, or when the enemy is against me and he's at every corner, every angle, um, God lifts my head, right? And um, and it says that, you know, when we cry out to the Lord, that he hears us. How many times, you know, have you thought, or I know there's a lot of people that think this, um, you know, God is a far off distant God. He's not listening to me. Well, you know, maybe he heard me or you know, I prayed to him or I cried out to him and you know, he'll get it later on or maybe he'll get back to me. Um, I think there's a lot of people that just have like this idea of the way that God is. And this idea that has just somehow been planted in our minds is truly something that the enemy has made us think. Um, it's actually polar opposite. He is always there, always listening, um, very personal God. Uh, very available for you. I mean, he's always there. Um, and so, you know, how many times have we just thought, you know, again, that, well, he's just not listening. Like he, it just doesn't feel like he's there. Um, this here is encouragement because it says that not only is he shielding you, he, he lifts your head. And when you cry out, he hears you all the way from his holy hill, right? All the way from heaven. <laughs> Obviously, we have his Holy Spirit abiding inside, but he always hears us. He acknowledges us, right? And so, um, so not only does he hear us, right? And not only does he lift our heads, but right here in this third little section here, I love it because it says, I lay down and I slept. I awoke for the Lord sustained me. I will not be afraid of 10,000 of people who have set themselves around me. Um, it shows here that 
you can put your trust in God. You can put your faith in God and all the burdens that you carry on your shoulders and when the enemy is at you and all these things you feel like are just going wrong, you can rest at the feet of Jesus. You know, the, the word says that um, we carry around heavy burdens that we're not meant to carry. God says that we need to put those things at his feet, give those things over to him because, you know, again, these are, we can't do it on our own. And the Lord, honestly, here is giving clear instructions in this chapter, um, if you will, to rest in him, okay? It's okay to lay these things at his feet and just rest. You know, despite what this guy was going through here, right? He's like, all these people are against me. It's like 10,000 people are against me. But you know what? I don't have to worry. Why? Because God will sustain me. And I can awake and still be okay, despite all these things going on, right? So, you know, he went down to sleep. He awoke. The Lord was sustaining him throughout that. And he's like, you know what? I'm not going to be afraid of the situation that I'm facing. I'm not going to be afraid of the enemy. I will not be afraid. Whether it be one person or whether it be 10,000 people around me, I know that I'm going to be okay because I have Christ who goes before me, right? Um, and then there in the last section, it just says, save me, O God, for you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. Salvation belongs to the Lord. Your blessing is upon your people. And how powerful is that, right? It's like that saying goes, if, um, if the Lord is for you, who can be against you? And if you abide in Christ and you belong to him, his blessing is upon you and salvation belongs to the Lord. And how amazing is it that when we put our trust and our faith in him, that he seals us with his Holy Spirit and we become his child and there's nothing that can snatch us from his hands. And no matter what life throws our way, you know, the Bible says that we will have trials and tribulations. Um, you know, not the tribulations that you think of, like, you know, there's, there's different there's tribulations that you go through in life in this fleshly body. And you, you obviously have the tribulation, which people will face in Revelation. But God says that, hey, listen, it's not going to be easy. You're going to have trials, tribulations, like you're going to go through things just because you belong to me and just because you're a believer, just because um, you are in this world, but not of this world anymore. You're still in it, and so you're still going to have to go through things. But, um, you know, and he was saying these things to his disciples before he, you know, left and went back to heaven. Um, but he was encouraging them not to fear, not to be scared, don't cry, that he was going to leave the Holy Spirit with them to be their guide and their comfort and to get them through these things. And um, and so... Um, I'm sorry, it's it's early. I don't know how I'm even doing this early in the morning, but um but you know, we we can trust in him and we can rest at his feet knowing that he goes before us and he's got us. And um and right there at the end, you know, you have struck all my enemies on the cheekbone. You have broken the teeth of the ungodly. That just shows like the power that is in Christ. Um the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the creator of this universe and everything in it and every person, you know, even the enemy. So if he is for us and he holds the power that he does and, you know, we are his people and our, our you know, his blessing is upon us. And truly, what do you have to be scared of each day when you wake up and face the things that you face. That's where I was going. You're going to face trials and tribulations, right? But um, but be of good cheer, right? Because even though we go through things, um, God goes before us. And he's in complete and total control. So anyways, yeah, I just wanted to read over this. Um, I hope that you guys have a great day. Um, so happy that it's finally the weekend. You know, actually, before I started filming this, 
Um, like I'm wondering if I have like the stomach bug or something because I got through like a whole video and then just how I was like not feeling well. So I really hope that like that is not going around. Um, but who knows nowadays, like people are getting all kind of crazy things that doctors can't even like pick up on tests and stuff like it's crazy. Um, but anyways, I will see y'all, um, probably this afternoon. Um, we'll probably go over something. <laughs> I'll pop on and say hey and bring y'all something this afternoon. But, um, and then obviously I will see y'all tomorrow morning with chapter four. So if you are coming along with me for these, um, I really appreciate you being here with me, doing this together. And whether we feel like it or not, rain or shine, feeling well or not feeling well, you know, and I knew like before going into these that, um, there will probably be days where I just like didn't want to do it. But, um, not only do I think that this is just good for us in the mornings, positive note, you know, to start our day, it's a great way to practice stealth, self-discipline. You know, I don't think that there's anybody who has went through like the whole Bible and said like, you know, I, I just don't think that you know, um, there's just times where you don't want to do things, right? But you know it's good for you. It's just like eating healthy, right? Like I've been on, I think like three weeks now of eating healthy. There are times where I just don't want to do it. I just want to go for something bad. Like these donuts here <laughs> that my husband brought home yesterday, which I haven't touched. Um, Self-discipline, right? Um, you know what's good for you and you know what's not. And being in the word, whether we feel like getting up and doing it, whether we feel like taking that time to dedicate to it, it's good for the soul. Um, so anyways, yes, thank you for being here. I'm going to stop blabbing. Um, talk to you later. See ya.